So my niece, Destiny, is gonna show me how to make a real charcuterie board. Like a real one, not like the ones I do that everybody keeps saying that's not a real charcuterie board. She's the queen, queen of char. Here we go. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children, and we are just the Bells 10. All right, so this is my niece, Destiny, my great niece, Hannah, and she is showing us how to make a real charcuterie board, right? Yes. Like, look at these. She's got dip bowls. She's got real stuff. I don't really know how to do it, so she's going to show me. Here we go. So the first thing she does is she gets the bowls filled with, so what is this? That's the fig spread. Okay, so fig spread, and then what are you going to do with the cream cheese? You add them together. It's amazing if you put them on crackers, do cream cheese, fig spread on the crackers. You can put vegetables on top if you want. Okay, so are you gonna mix the cream cheese with this or no, you put it in its own? And, Cause yeah, I'm gonna do it separate. Oh, and so when you, so when you have your meat, so when you have your meat and stuff and your crackers, you put the cream cheese and the fig on it. Right. Got it, okay. That's my, my great nephew, Lincoln. See you, Lincoln. <laughs> It was his birthday yesterday. It was his birthday. How old did he turn? Six. Six years old. All right. I'm excited. You're using ranch dip too? Well, we have to have ranch. We live in Iowa, and my son doesn't eat vegetables without ranch. Nice. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's, like, everything has to have ranch. Ranch, 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 ranch. Yep, go ahead and put your star Oh, I'll help you. Okay, you're gonna come back when you're done doing your star. Yeah. Okay. Um, he doesn't need help. Okay, he doesn't need help. Okay. Okay. So now she's gonna do the ranch because what are you gonna do? Separate one? Is this like a meat and cheese, and that's like a veggie that's one? Kind of all over. Oh, so you mix them together. Okay. Yep. And so she has kielbasa. Is that good kielbasa? It's whole. It's I don't know. It's an Aldi one. It's the pork and beef one. Okay. Cool. Nice. So it's like sausage, yeah. kinda. Okay, gotcha. So, so she's gonna start cutting. What do you do all the meats first? I guess yeah, you got salami here. And these baby cheeses I love. I told her to add them to the board. I got them at the airport. Your mom's making a charcuterie board. She's t telling me how to do it. She's. Telling me how to make a real one. This is my great nephew, Zane. He's a baller. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now she's cutting the sausage. I kind of just throw them all over. Like some here, some there. And then what do you fill it in with different things? Yeah. Okay. And what's the best to do with the sausages? What do you like to do Anything. with those? I like I usually put toothpicks on it at the end and then you can just poke and Oh that's dip a great it if idea. You want. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, okay so Make now what do you got there? Oh What's that? Okay, our favorite sausage from Aldi. Spicy Italian dry salami. Okay. I nice. Said salami. Nice. Salami. Yeah. Gideon loves salami. Oh, My this Gideon. Is, this is the best stuff ever. Do you put nuts on it too, or just fruits, veggies, I, cheese? That's a really good idea. I don't. Like I've seen you have cashews up there. I have all kinds of them. Up there. And you got olives too. You put olives on it, like green and black olives. I would. I'm the only one that eats them though, so. I like. I don't. What do you like, black and green? Because I do like black and green too. Yeah, I like both. Well, I do too. If you want to add them. It was kind of wobbly. I'll do these, and I'll do them over here too. This already do looks so nice. I might do the. That's why I don't really have a system. I do a little and then I add more and I like the way it looks when it's done. So I like the random Mom, colors. Mom, can I ask my Thank you. And this isn't as good as eggnog. Oh, no, it already looks nice. Yeah. Too because I'm weird and I like it to be that's okay. Really pretty when it's done. No, I think if you did a little bit of nuts here and there, yeah, and like, and even really good idea. even if you had black or just do black or green, you could just fill it in your like if you see a board part, just fill it in with a board. You know what Kara does is she has like the first time 
but she just places it on there. I need to get that because it looks so That's pretty when it's done. Idea. Do you have parsley or green onions or? I have green onions. You could use the twigs on the green onions, the tops. Okay, I might do that. Because then you bring color into it, right? Yeah, that's the whole, well, that's like yeah. me, at least. Put some cheese in here. So you just fill up the whole board because your goal is to not see the board, right? Yeah, just fill it up. People are going to eat it. It doesn't matter. Do you have raisins? You could actually go do, a, yeah, I'm going to have to, I have a circle board and two square boards and I never think to do just a traditional like this, you know what I'm saying? And it, yeah. this looks so beautiful. I think my family would eat it a lot more. They eat Maybe the ones I eat too, but yeah, this is Saturday. so appealing. I love this. Where'd you get this with the two handles? Alton got it for me. I think it's uh, honestly from Target and I wanted to get it engraved oh, and then see it. Oh, I love it. Because I can't, I have to do the clean this with just water so I don't put anything on it like when I can't clean, you know, I can't wipe down. Look at that pure sugar. Yum, yum. <laughs> mm. All right, so we got tomatoes on there, some meat crackers. This is a great idea just to put this, the cream cheese in it and not mm -hmm. even. And we got some cucumbers. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. People love this stuff too. They love charcuteries. They love to see things put together. I'll have to show you this picture that somebody sent me of a beautiful charcuterie. It was like gorgeous. Yeah. My goal is to make I got a cold sore. You know, you could see, make I'm these. Gonna end up moving these. That's okay. I end up putting too much in that. You know, you could make charcuteries and, and tell people to bring their boards and you put them together and they pick them up after dinner and you just. I don't think I'm that good. This is beautiful already. I'm completely impressed. All right, it's coming to law. It's coming to life. What do you think, Hannah? I've never seen my mom do this in my whole life. I already have it done before you're done. Oh, you do. <laughs> I seen you here. had um. Oh, that's mixed nuts. I seen that you had cashews. That might Where? be nice. There's a can of them up there. A blue can. Oh. Can you put down oh, I thought I saw cashews up there. No. What is that? Makes there you go. Look at it's coming together. It's beautiful. And it's easy, huh, Hannah? Super fast. So when the kids come home, sometimes you have this laid out for them? I do it usually on the weekends. Or if I'm home and they're coming home from school. And the kids love it? Mm-hmm. The neighbor kids usually just Oh, they do. Yeah, that's why that's why I started it because the, everyone's always here at my house. Yeah. And I kept eating my food, so I'm like here. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we added some nuts. She's going to cut some more cucumbers. We got two boards going. We made, well, she made chili for dinner. Ooh, chili. 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 So these you could just you can just unpeel um, those and just put them on the tray whole. Okay. Because that's how they're meant to be eaten. Mom. I can even do that for you too, or maybe Hannah can. I can show you Hannah how to open these cheeses. She knows how actually. She eats them. And then your mom can stick them on the boards. Yeah. See these cheeses I got. Go wash your hands. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got to go wash your hands, and then you can put all these cheeses on the board for your mom. We'll put them on the board first. Yeah. There you go. Pickled Tell me if you need those. Just, Ooh, but that'll stay in your board, won't they? Yeah, I won't. I will put those in a bowl. Oh, okay. My... Sorry, I moved them. So yeah, if you want to just open those and then ask your mom where she wants them. I don't want no markers. I'm doing this right now. She's I'm helping your mom make a charcuterie board. I don't make it. Your mom's showing me how to do it because I. I think it's normal. Those are Gouda ones. But they're still really good. I want to do it. I want to do it. I don't care if you want to. Ask your mom. She's in charge. Yeah, get up there and help Hannah. So you're going to put the pickle beets there. And what, are you going to put a couple things around the yeah, pickle beets? Yeah, I like your little so, board. I'm going to follow that. So I found a board that looked like a pumpkin. And I did my pumpkin cutie on it. And um, it fell out of the sleeve and it slit in half. And then it got slivers in my fingers. And so no, I had to glue it back together. Yeah. Good job, you guys. Okay, so there's pickle beets. I love how they're smaller. Yeah. Because the bigger, huge ones are hard to eat sometimes. 
You can probably take your cheeses, Hannah, and just set them in yeah, spots them. where you see a board. Like, see how you see the board? Yeah. Just push your little cheeses where you see a board. Yeah. I like your bowls. Where'd you get these little bowls from? From Nana. What? Yeah, she gave me a bunch of glass stuff, and I use them all the time. She never offered me any of these. So oh, yeah. uh, we had to go through the carrots because they were kind of slimy, yeah. so we washed them. Well, she did. Washed them, went through them, grabbed the ones that are good and to throw color into the board. See, so sometimes you just place things on top of places. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, I'm, I'm learning. So my next board you guys see is gonna be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do you like charcuterie boards, Lincoln? Whatever. These things, right huh? here that we're doing. Yeah, we do the he's, he's like, what is it? What? What's your favorite thing that mommy puts on the boards when I do it? I know it. Vegetables. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Oh, you like cucumbers? Yeah. yeah. Nice. What do you guys put on your cucumbers? Uh, salt. Yeah. No, I can put ranch. Yeah. yeah, you're a ranch guy like Gideon. Gideon? <laughs> your tomato's empty too if you want to. Are you clearing off your set? She's like me. We like to be clean when we cook. Yeah, I can't. See. Yeah, I can't either. I'm just going to do a little of each. Cause... You know to go good with these charcuterie boards? Can you put that in Coffee! The or hot cocoa, heck yes. It's hot cocoa. Yesterday, oh, chocolate milk. milk. Yesterday was or milk. chocolate milk. Or eggnog. I have this eggnog. It's not good. It's like holly nog. It's not eggnog. So now we're gonna put cheese on it. You know what? Else? Okay. So now she's cutting cheese. We got pepper jack cheese going on the boards. You know these kind of look like eggs. I know. Do they bother you being around? You might have to blend them a little better. No, okay. It's good. You need a little bit of stuff right up here. This is kind of... Yeah. It's kind of plain. Maybe Daddy. peppers. We'll put pe peppers in there. Look at Dad's face. You can also do something right here. Stop it. Get your own We're doing them in threes. We're doing them in threes. Nice going. That's now two. You did two. She has two twos up there now. Let's go down the window. Yeah. Thanks for your help, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Dad, you ain't helping. Bye, bye. What are you going to put around your beats? Beats. Battlestar Galactica. What is it? Bears, beats, Battlestar Galactica. Bears, beats, Battlestar Galactica. That's my nephew Alton. Love you. Ooh, I like the yellow. You better. Oh, suck. Can we do it? Alton James. Alton James. Alton James. <laughs> Alton, Alton, James. <laughs> Alton James. Okay, the boards are coming together. You just need a little bit right here, like some cheese or something. Right here. <laughs> Stop it. Right here, Destiny. Right there. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You need to just cut him some pepper jack cheese. Just take it with you. Oh my goodness. You are going to cut yourself. Now we're doing peppers. And then what's left after peppers? Is that it? I think that's about it. You might need a little bit more of these. What do the kids like most? You don't have no meat on that tray. The beets are adorable. I can't even get over how cute the beets are. What are you gonna put in this one? Is there another jam we're gonna do? I, I just grabbed it. it just in case. She's never gonna get that board finished if you keep grabbing stuff off of it, Alton. Can you grab me any other bag of peppers over there on the counter? So how do you do those? Just make them in slits and put them on? Or do you do just so halves? I'll slice them. I'm just getting the seeds out first. Oh, they have colors in there. Yeah. Do you do like oranges? You peel oranges and put it on, or do you usually do um, them with I fruits? One, I did one time, yeah. With fruit? But they didn't really eat it, and I ended up having rotten oh. bananas. And... Yeah, bananas don't keep very long. Yeah. Yeah, I agreed. You're starting to YouTube now? No. Beautiful. So now she's adding colored peppers, yellow, orange, and red. 
So good. This is actually kind of spicy. The, the, what is it? It's good. Did something just fall? No. Oh. Mm. It's gonna be perfect with chili. I think so too. I think so too. Coffee and cocoa. Charcuterie boards perfect for the fall winter season. Yeah, you and Kara are pretty creative. Kara's my other sister. Well, this is my niece, but my sister-in-law, Kara, she's pretty good at this stuff too. And we got a little baby one right there. Super cute. Yeah, and if things, if everything doesn't get eaten, you just put the fruit and stuff in the baggies and you munch on it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's gonna go to waste at all. No, and I'll take this, throw a bunch of it in a bag and take it to work. Yeah. That's why I'm careful when I do mine. I know it's stuff that if we don't eat it all, I can bag it up and we'll eat it again. I don't want to put something on there that I, I don't like throwing things away. Me either, especially now. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I can't wait to try the fig. Have you ever tried jalapeno pepper um, jam and with cream cheese? It's jalapeno pepper jam no, it's sweet and amazing because oh it, i like sweet and spicy. oh it's sweet and spicy and you mix it with sour cream and then you put on a cracker and you can put a little meat on it it's amazing um uh, my friend from church makes the most wonderful jalapeno oh, that sounds good. it's really good she also does a plate where she'll take a board like that like that she'll spread the cream cheese down the jalapeno pepper jam on top and then she'll just set it down with her like boards and then crackers around it and then just take the crackers and and you could do prosciutto so you do yes. that with the prosciutto oh so good that reminds me of aunt kara's she puts cream cheese and then she does jalapeno cranberry on top Ooh. of it it's so good yeah so take the tops like the green the the thin part on the top oh i see and then you can mm -hmm. slice down the center so just cut it no cut it across like cut them off oh, cut this off. yeah and then slice down the center of them and then you can have like little pieces to fan out to put and then you're not you can still keep the green onions you can we can you know put it in our chili tonight and and then you can kind of fan them out for like a decoration even because you don't have herbs like you know Kara does yeah. I mean you could just kind of maybe set it in and just kind of fan it I don't know it'd be cute I mean, just, yeah, and put one through here. That's super cute. Oh my goodness. So you probably do a lot of these through Christmas too, hey? You guys? I just got one last Christmas. I just started doing it. I've been doing it all year. Oh, nice. So I will be do doing one like through in here. So we See, do and if you and if you cut these in half, you could spray it out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you'd have twosies. Does that make sense? Like you cut it through and then it kind of goes into a V. Yeah, cute. So Destiny's charcuterie board is done. Eat it? <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing. She did a great job. Thank you so much for showing me how to make a real charcuterie board. You're <laughs>